Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the X Universe. I am the Eidsmeister, and this is episode 6 of uh, X4 Foundations. Playing as a Terran with all the DLCs. And I'm here on board uh, our newly acquired fighter, the Terran Kukri, uh, just doing a mission for the uh, trade guild of the Cigaris Pioneers. Uh, you know, I um, need to improve my reputation with the Cigaris Pioneers and earn a few credits on the side, of course. So, what's our current situation? Well, we are still in the sector Gaian Prophecy. And um, so far, I have improved our headquarter uh, to a point where, well, we have... I, as I've said in the last episode, we can now start a mission chain that um, will uh, allow us to free our benefactor, uh, Bozotar, the Boron in distress, and um, yeah, finally meet him face to face. But before we can do that, uh, I need to first uh, well finish up this mission here. Uh, I just can't leave it unfinished after all. Oh, uh, by the way, I have um assigned my scouts to explore the universe here a little bit and uncover more of these sectors and um, while they're doing this they're also uncovering more trading opportunities as they find more stations and uh, around here is where the invasion corridor of the xenon is located uh, an invasion corridor into argon territory or actually uh, territory of the Republic uh, Antigone. Yeah, the benefit from all this fighting here is that I can swoop in with my little rapier and um, gather all the materials and crates dropped by the defeated ships. Which means I'm now ordering this rapier to deposit all items that the pilot has collected um, back at the headquarter. Now that I've uh, built a dock here, I can also give my ships the command to deposit all items. Uh, where they are secure and away from prying eyes, such as police scanners, for example. You know, I may acquire illegal goods during my adventures here in space, but that doesn't mean I have to be caught with them. No. Right then, I'll just hack this production terminal and then we'll be done with this mission chain. Why am I doing these mission chains? Um, well, they are fairly easy. They don't require me to perform any uh, dangerous or illicit actions. And uh, they also um, provide me with a uh, paint modification which I very much want. It is the paint modification called Utopia. Um, I'm sure when we acquire a larger ship, you'll see why I want this paint modification. So, here's the mission, by the way. Sorry for my bit of scatterbrained. This is uh, rather... Okay, I still need to acquire two spacesuit bombs. Yeah, this is going to take a while. A fly to Hevers twin something something. Um, open briefing, by the way. A fast combat ship is preferable. Uh, yeah, so Hevers twin is quite a long way out. And um, I don't have a fast combat ship yet. What I do have, however, is nearly 8 million credits. And, uh, I think it's time. There we go, 8 million credits. It's time. It's this time. I have been waiting for, ooh, in much anticipation. I will buy a ship. Not any ship, mind you. They said I need a fast ship. I'm going to acquire the swiftest blade in the X universe. The fastest ship of them all. I'm talking about the Katana. Yeah, uh, the Katana's um, 
look hasn't changed that much uh, from the previous X games, to be honest. And the katana is fast. The katana is really, really fast. I can get that even faster with the proper engines from uh, other races, but for now we shall use the Terran combat engines. Yep, I'm doing this. I'm going to acquire our first M-Class combat ship and a new player ship, the Katana, which I will also have to name, probably. Now, the problem here is that I do not have any uh, uneven number of weapon slots, which means, sadly, um, no missiles for this one. Um, I, I don't know, I, I just have this... Um, uh, yeah this compulsion to equip all weapons evenly uh, or distribute weapons evenly. I can't just have this one here carrying a missile. Uh, I, I just can't do it. Um, yeah, proton barrage it is and a few pulse lasers as our um, turrets. Those are our secondary weapons. They will protect our ship from flanking enemies or missiles. Then, please, all the software, all the goodies, uh, we we'll keep it at that. A captain, an intrepid crew, add it to the shopping list. Get me that katana. Now, while I'm here, I may as well stock up on uh, additional uh, wares to acquire spacesuit bombs. Let's also, let's not forget this other v uh, mission we are still doing for the Republic, um, for the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, for Hatikva, basically. Uh, two units of spacesuit bomb. All right, Hatikva Free League, that's what they are called. Right then, yeah, we have just ordered a katana. You're going to see why this one is exceptionally fast. It is a very fast ship. Ah, uh, Trader's Caller. That's where I want to be. And um, I should probably use some of my funds to acquire a new uh, mining vessel. Hello. Hello can there. I help? Oh, yes, you can. Here you go. Right then. Anything I want to have? Uh, no, not particularly. Good luck out there. Exactly. Oh, autosave. Well, yeah. Um, a katana. We don't have access to missiles, which is a shame. Uh, missiles are quite versatile, but um, I think four proton barrages are not bad as well. They are the Mark I version, though, so um, there is still the Mark II version out there, which we want to acquire rather fast. Give me that. Mm, nice. Great work. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I'm great. Okay, then. Back to our ship, and let's give our lovely pilot... Uh, come on. Lovely pilot the order to um, basically... Uh, we need to go to Heva's Twin, right? So, if I remember this map correctly... Uh, we are going to embark on quite a journey. Um, I'd say through Argon and Teladi space up here. So... The ship will be undocking soon. Yep, yep, I know, I know. Fasten your seat play, uh, belts and all that. We've heard it all before. Right then. My katana is... Finished. And here is the reason why I, why I want to acquire the Utopia paint mod. Uh, this one in particular. Look at that. I think this is going to be our go-to mm, paint modification for our player ships or other significant vessels like, um, uh, you know, fleet commanders or... Uh, flagships or such. It just looks so nice. I like it. Please install this one. There we go. And uh, 
Yeah, now that we have installed the Utopia paint mod, let's also rename this ship. Uh, I said I'm going to rename uh, name player ships myself. So, this katana will now be called... Uh, what do I want to... Uh, I want to uh, select a name that is synonymous with speed. Since uh, this particular ship focuses very, very much on speed. So... Ah, I know. The capital S there. The Spring Blossom. Because, you see, the Spring Blossom was a corvette manufactured by the Aldrin Colony uh, in the X3 games. And um, the Spring Blossom was also very famous for its uh, exceptional speed. Uh, it um, had the highest speed of any vanilla and uh, any buyable ship in X3, I think, and a certainly the highest speed of any corvette. And so, as uh, paying homage to that, I named our new player ship the Spring Blossom, which will now embark on its epic first journey to meet up with our current vessel the Kukri. The Kukri then uh, will be relegated to another duty. Uh, she will probably um, dock at the headquarters or maybe uh, I could let her explore some more regions of space. Though I would like to have a scout ship do that particular task for me. Speaking of scout ship, there is something else I need to do. Something rather uh, important. Let's just see if we can acquire this one. Um, for this particular task, we absolutely have to buy a um, Discoverer Vanguard, which is a scout ship. Uh, very cheap and uh, outfitted it with the best travel engines we can find. And you can see here the, the um, components of the uh, rest of the X-Universe, save for the Terrans, are fairly cheap. And uh, give it some of this. Don't need a particularly strong shield. Uh, only the most basic of weaponry. Since it's a scout, after all. And a little bit of flight assist, long range scanner, and all that. Entering Grand Exchange 3. And there we go. Add it to the shopping list. One discoverer coming right up, and all three ships will meet here in um, second contact flashpoint. And then we will uh, perform this task I need to perform first, and uh, after which we will continue with our mission. Ah, there we are. I have ordered all three ships, the discoverer, the katana, and our Kukri to meet up at this Argon station, and there she is. Ah, the Katana. Sorry if I'm breathing down on, down your neck, but uh, I'm a little bit excited to finally board our newest acquisition. What a wonderful ship. But before we can do that, let's actually head to the dock um, where the Discoverer is located. Discoverer Vanguard, because I'm going to show you the very important task I have to fulfill first before we can uh, concern ourselves with finally finishing up that pioneer mission and then going along Discoverer with the main story. Vanguard. Excuse me. Alright, here it comes. I have a Discoverer and uh, there's our katana, the spring blossom, and um, here comes the easter egg. Yep. I have prepared a disco. <laughs> yep, there it is. I did it. Ah, Bandana would be so proud. 
Let's see if we can. Uh, it's even visible from the outside. <laughs> uh, okay, we had enough fun. Um, this is going to be our uh, initiation ritual once we board a new ship, or every time we board a new uh, player ship. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's dock this ship and be done with it. Uh, yep. There we go. Disabled disco mode. Time to wipe you out. Prepare the disco on a disco. Yeah. Right then. Now back to business. Katana! I wish to board this ship. Your captain arrives. The Spring Blossom. She's mine. And she has a nice and roomy interior, by the way. Uh, much, much, much better than the Katana. cramped compartment on the fighter or even the discoverer. Um, yeah. Very nice. Hello there, Captain. I'm taking Hello. over. Hello. Right then. Time to undock and head towards this. Um, yeah, to finally finish the mission for the Terran Pioneers and then head back to the main story. Jump gate, the void. This is where I need to go. And by the way, you have seen the speed of the Kukri before. Now, look at this. Boost speed is higher than the travel speed of the Kukri. Quite high, in fact. We're still going. We still haven't reached max boosting speed. Entering system. The void. Still not reached the maximum speed. Now we have. Yeah, this ship is fast. Extremely fast. And although I have not equipped the fastest travel drive, um, yep, we have already exceeded the speed reached by the Kukri. Jump gate, Antigone Memorial. We have now achieved double the speed of the Kukri. You get the idea. The Katana is fast. <sighs> New ship. Yes. Then we are on our way to free our benefactor now. I have. Uh, we yeah, have done all preparations I had to do, and we have a <laughs> elegant and uh, a very fast ship now. This should be Entering enough system. to free our little choice. Boron friend. Yeah. And I have to say, this uh, paint mod Utopia looks actually very well on uh, Terran ships. And uh, yeah, I, I think I'll choose this one as our company's uh, standard paint scheme for um, special ships. Ah, let's leave it at that. By the way, what should we name our company? Um, I mean, we have a little enterprise here in the X universe, and um, there is a name. There needs to be a name for this. So, uh, I'd like to hear your suggestions for our Terran space enterprise. Anyway, still going on the highway, all around these sectors, uh, to Heva's Twin. And we are now entering... Entering system. Profit Center Alpha. Profit Center Alpha. This is Teladi space. Find a way to Bright Promise. Um, if I recall correctly, then I should stay on this highway. Peregrine Vanguard. And I will... Find this gauge to Bright Promise, one of the beautiful sectors in the X universe here. Entering system, Bright Promise. There we go. Just have a moment to take in the well lit and aptly named Bright Promise. Ah. Mm. Reflection on the windshield. Uh, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Beautiful sector, but we have to proceed now. We need to find a way to Trinity Sanctum. Which is... The Paranid Main Sector. Trinity and Sanctum. 
There we have it. Paranit space. Well, God realm of Paranit at least. And the Paranit have been busy. They have been amassing their fleets since they are, they are locked in a perpetual war against their brethren, the Holy Order of the Pontifex. Um, uh, sort of, kind of figuring out which um, well, religious uh, leader of theirs is now the correct one and uh, they are doing it using their very powerful and very sleek looking fleet. Yeah, we have a Zeus carrier and a few Odysseus, uh, or how do you say it in English? Odysseus? <laughs> Odysseus uh, destroyers. I certainly wish to acquire an Odysseus at some point and make it my playership. Um, alone for its versatility and firepower, by the way. Anyway, onwards towards Hevas Twin. Entering Hevas Twin 5. I must admit, I am beginning to feel a bit tense. I do hope this goes to plan. I have further refined the plan. Please take a look. Right. Sunrise Flower Farm. Aw. Oh. Let's see. What has Bozota done now? Uh, open briefing. Fast combat ship is preferable. Right, oh, he was twin. Yeah, there we are. Empty space. Ha are you done with refining our plans? Um. Open the briefing. Okay. As you can see, mm -hmm. I wish to escape the station via a chartered freighter. There are actually multiple ships involved, as to confound anyone wishing to track me. Hmm, smart. I would like you to protect any ship which should get into trouble. Right then. Off to the Tuladi Sentinel we go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. This is a neutral ship. An Osprey Vanguard. Ah, you know, when opportunity presents itself like this, must resist, urge to profit, cannot resist. Katana. Let's do this quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. A Osprey neutral ship. Vanguard. Where is the location of the uh, scannable signal leak? There it is. Come on! There we go. My Osprey Vanguard now. Katana. Yes. Right, 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 right. The Katana is fast. We can catch up with our little transport. Open up. There we go. Can I help? Yes. Goodbye. Uh, no, goodbye. You there. Can I help? Yes. Look. That's a ship without a captain. Congratulations. You've been promoted. Okay. Turn Select it. And press Shift F to adjust speed. Uh, I mean, uh, adjust your speed to the ship you are currently targeting. And we will tell our little um, Osprey here to take a little detour. Around these sectors, there are damaged factories there. This could have been the work of those nasty Xenon coming from Hatikvar's Choice 1. There's a Xenon gate up here. Another invasion corridor for the Machine Menace. Uh, how about some... I am successfully yeah. aboard my transport and en route to the installation. Good for you, my friend. Where is the Boron? Uh, hello. I will check security logs. You check security logs. Oh, that didn't take long at all. It seems my disappearance has been noticed. Yeah, so much for stealth. I expect my ship is at a safe distance. I can't say the same for the others. 
Please be alert. I will order our ships to intercept targets. You will join them while I investigate further. Yes, brother. Um. No chance. Then prepare to die. You no match for right then. Looks like playtime's over. Willemot, Vanguard. Let's see what this katana can do. Oh, this one there looks important. Yes, you do that. Acknowledged. You will regret crossing us. I don't think so. Activate Proton Barrage. Willemot, Vanguard. Right then. These ships. Oh, they're equipped with plasma cannons. Yep, and there we go. I have been attacked and now my gun turrets are opening fire to defend myself. Terran gun turrets. Wait, what it takes to succeed? Money? Fame? I don't know. You're welcome, my Teladi friend. And good profits to you. I don't think you can. Good. Where is our target that we needed to protect? Okay. On final approach to the docking bay with my very, very fast katana, the Spring Blossom. Uh, spring? Is it? No, wait, spring Blossom. Yeah, right. Docking granted. Yeah. Uh, Go to Science Laboratory. That's a new room. Right then. Successfully docked. Time to get up. It's an honor to have you aboard. I know, thank you. And uh, there we go. Into the transporter. Science Laboratory. Let's meet our friend face to face. Are you ready? Well, hello there. Aha! At last, we meet face to face. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a boron. This installation is equipped for habitation of all races, and this room seems to be some sort of research area. I expect I could spend years poring over the data contained in these systems. Well, hello there! Get on it, then. Yeah, uh, Bozotar. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? Indeed, an interesting comment he made there. A Terran station that seems to be equipped to facilitate all races. Mysterious. Yes, I have already made some progress. There appears to be several things we can research at this facility. Oh yes. Please take a look. Let's do the science stuff. Um, research menu. Oh. As you can see, there is much to do. Mm -hmm. I personally find mention of this teleportation irresistible. <laughs> but I leave it up to you to decide what we research first. Yeah. Please note that these research items have certain requirements. There we go. We have now opened up a very vital part of X4 Foundations. The research tree and... Um, it appears some Terran technology was being used to research teleportation... Over Terran technology! Places. There it is again. Unbeatable Terran technology. Have you come across materials for equipment modification yet? Maybe as a reward from some guild mission? If I did to guild missions. To one of your ships. I recommend that you search for a workbench. Ah, you yes. You to find one at the ship dealership of a wharf or shipyard. Bozotar, facility abductor. 
Um, all around a good chap to have around and um, helpful hint dispenser. Nice. So, yeah, there we are. We have unlocked the research menu. We have uh, the means to research new things. And um, those require a few materials. Um, and the headquarter needs to procure those materials using credits. Or uh, I could expand the headquarter with a production wing where it... Um, basically manufactures set materials we need for research. Well, I'm afraid this is it for now. We have acquired and met our new friend Bozota, who will from now on conduct research at our headquarters. We've acquired a new ship, the uh, Spring Blossom, a ship of the Katana class, Corvette. And uh, yeah, I think uh, things are looking looking bright for us right now. I guess in the next episode we can uh, finish up the plot for Hatikwa and maybe look for further opportunities to make a profit in the X universe and um, look into these research opportunities. Uh, these sound enticing, to be honest. Anyway, I am the Heizmeister saying goodbye from the ever profitable X universe. Take care, and I'll see you next time.